All right, all right, all right. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, welcome, welcome, everybody. Yo, what's up, you guys? It's Jono. Hey, welcome to the stream. Let's get it started here. We'll do some more Tornadus runs. Tornadus dens. Tornadus raids. I think I'll just go solo. I'll probably fail. I know, Pikachu forever. You're early. You were first on the stream. Let's go. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, Mark Ariel? He likes beans. I mean, who doesn't like beans, really? How do you say beans in Spanish? Huevos? No. Yeah. No. I forget. All right, here we go. There's only one good route. Hey, what's up, Arna? Huevo is egg. Yeah, how do you say bean? I swear it sounds like huevos, but it's not. Mark. <laughs> I think Mark is right. That's definitely how you say it. Oh, yeah, it's free whole A's. That's right. Good job, Pikachu forever. Thanks for looking that up real quick. They haven't taught me that yet on the Duolingo app. Free whole A's. Beans. Dude, it goes so much faster. It goes so much faster when you don't do the animations. It's crazy. Hey, what's up, Chloe? Excited to get the 240 OLED tomorrow. Nice. What did you end up getting? It's not a Samsung, is it? I think I remember you're not like a Samsung person. Yeah, Pikachu, this is usually the time I go live. Yep. This is exactly the time when I usually go live. Stream for a couple hours. Call it a day. Panel itself is made by Samsung. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So you like the um, you like the Alienware one? Is that yeah? I was curious which one you actually got. That's so cool, Chloe. Let me know how you like it. I'm really curious to hear how you like it. 240 hertz is gonna be sick. Can your eye even see that? <laughs> Give me more frames than your eye can even see. You're going to have to get a second set of eyes just to see all the frames. <laughs> no, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, Pikachu forever. Make sure you eat a healthy lunch. Very important. Make sure you have energy to last the day. You're fasting? Aren't you like a kid? You're not supposed to fast. Don't you like need to eat food to grow and stuff? I'm pretty sure. Dude, you can't eat any food? What the? How are you going to get big and strong? Huh? 
Do it. Can you at least drink some milk? My whole team had full health. I don't think anybody on the team has anything for Charmeleon. Oh, I got Dig. Oh, but if I use it, it'll miss my Dynamax. Bro, you gotta fast for a month? Don't you get to eat at night though? Dude, what if you wanted to be like a bodybuilder? Because they got to eat a lot of calories. Dude, I hope you don't have weightlifting class. <clears throat> I had weightlifting class in uh, high school and we had to eat breakfast in the morning. Like there was no way, like it was a requirement for the class. And we would really lift those weights. It was no joke. I was out there doing bench. Your boy was benching. I had those arms. <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to work out, you need to eat. You have to have calories to burn. Otherwise, you could hurt yourself. That's how the body works. You have to have you eat food to get calories to burn those calories to have energy. So, if you're planning on burning like a ton of energy like lifting weights, then you got to, you know, you got to eat food. Because once you get really hungry and your stomach starts eating itself, you actually, your body starts to consume its own muscle material. So if you're working out, but you don't have any food, you can't gain muscle because your body is so hungry that it's eating the muscle. So the first thing your body will start to eat is muscle and fat, which is why you lose weight when you're hungry, you know, because your body starts, you know, burning off the excess fat that you have in storage. And then once you don't have any fat in storage, it starts to eat the muscle. So yeah, bodybuilders have to eat a steady, very large amount of calories. It's actually kind of crazy. Partially lowers special attack. Let's do it. Yeah, sometimes I do play Pokemon Arceus. I do. I have been known. 
I've actually thought about playing it a couple of times, but it just takes so much more of my attention. This is kind of an easy stream because the Dynamax Adventures pretty much play themselves. So it's nice to sit and chat with the stream and not have to like think too hard about, you know, the game. But if I play Legends Arceus and actually do shiny hunting, which I do still have a lot of shiny hunting left to do in that game for my shiny living decks. Um, I just gotta, it just takes so much more of my focus. I don't end up, you know, chatting as much. Dude, should I make the should I make the who's that Pokemon Rickroll? I could totally make it. It'd be the easiest video to make. Dude, I bet somebody already made it. Dude, this line even took forever. I'm gonna catch it. Watch me catch it real quick. That's the best song. I don't know why people make fun of that song. It's a true love song. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and run around. <laughs> I don't know the words. <laughs> We're gonna give you a hope. Pikachu, did you guys sing it? Gotta sing it. <clears throat> Never gonna give you a hope. Cause the school band doesn't have singers, you know what I mean? Did you guys yeah you gotta sing it? It would be cool if the crowd sang it. Nobody knows the words to that song, though. Everybody just knows never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. <laughs> After that, it's like, nobody really knows. Except, it seems like Pikachu forever knows. Yo, you were a singer in the band? Dude, our band didn't have singers, and I was always like, man, singing is music. No singers. I don't know the words to that song, even though I heard it a million times. I'm the only one who has good attacks. How come chance? Oh, they traded out the chancy. What? Never gonna run around and desert you. It's a good song. Never gonna give you a hope. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around. It's a hurt you. <laughs> okay, it looks like my cheer healed the team, at least. <clears throat> He's just destroying this team. I don't know how many more lives we have left.
come that dude wasn't famous? That song was a hit. Do I think this is a cracked moveset? Icy Wind, Eerie Impulse, and Skull. Why would it be cracked? Icy Wind lowers their speed. Eerie Impulse lowers their special attack. Skull does water move but has potential to give a burn. I'm not seeing it. Against... Like a dragon type, maybe? Or like a fire type? Icy Wind doesn't do that much damage. That's the thing about Icy Wind. It's not the strongest move. What's the part that makes it cracked? Okay, we got him. That song was a meme by about 1996 so i wouldn't say decades after its release maybe a decade after its release that song came out in the 80s right but we were memeing that song before memes even existed we were posting that song in forums i mean we were rickrolling people back in the late 90s <clears throat> on something awful forums People who remember the old days of something awful forums are like legends in the internet. Okay, let's see if we actually got any shinies. I was a contributor at the something awful forums. I did Photoshop Fridays. I was around. Yeah, Bunzi, I never play competitive, so speed is never, like, I could totally just throw speed out the window for the way that I play. Because when you're doing raids, it's not really the biggest deal if you outspeed the opponent. But for competitive, it's, like, such a big deal. You know? <clears throat> I'm going to take Oranguru. Chloe, it's not like people don't know. <laughs> I'm old. I've been around since before the internet existed. The internet came out when I was like 12. No, maybe like 13. And then I had the internet like in the house. I don't even know which way to go. By the time I was like 16... Maybe even like 15, we had the internet in the house. So, I mean, you gotta imagine that's a big change from like the internet didn't exist to like now we have the internet in our house. It was probably the biggest shift since like TV, you know, came into the house, like in the 50s. You know, because everybody was listening to radio at that time. So then, you know, when TV came out, it was a really big shift in behavior. Now we're not sitting around listening, but, like, we're actually watching the thing. Really big shift in behavior. The internet was definitely a big shift in behavior. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I, I think I attract an older audience now, although I do have some young viewers, too. It's true. I feel like a lot of the audience is like closer to my age or a little bit younger than me. But back in the Pokemon Go days, I had a lot of really young people watching. Which is fine. It's just... It's true. A lot of those people weren't born. They have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I always forget that burn lowers their attack. That's like the thing that slips by me every time. Yeah, Bunzi, you're right. I always forget that the burn lowers their attack. It's like... It's the one thing I just cannot seem to remember for some reason. So burn is automatic. Half of your attack is lowered. I gotta remember that.
Shout out to Ojwald Kriko. I don't know how to say your name. I see you out there. Hey. Burn is one of the best status conditions. Yeah, I gotta really remember that because I I never think about that. I didn't know that Burn halves your attack until you told me about it the other day, Bunzi. I literally just did not even know. Isn't that crazy? But they never tell you in the game. It's something the game never mentions. Like, how would you even know that? I don't think I've ever seen it mentioned in one single game. Mostly only competitive players know that. Okay, that makes sense. I don't feel bad then. It says this attack does physical damage, but it shows it as a special attack. Bunzi, can you explain that? Look, it says this attack does physical damage, but the category is special attack. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh, 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 oh. What's up with that? Ooh, what's up with that? That's my favorite song, by the way. It uses defense in the calculations. So why doesn't it just show the physical marker then? Are they just being weird about it? What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh, whoa. What's up with that? What's up with that? You guys know that song from Saturday Night Live? Jeez. It's like the only good skit from Saturday Night Live in the last two decades. And they need to do it more. It's funny. Oh, I see what you mean, Bunzi. Bunzi, I get it. That actually makes sense. So it uses your special attack stat, but it plays against their defense stat. So it, so you don't have to buff your special attack or your your physical attack to use it because that wouldn't make sense because you probably have, already have everything buffed for special attack. No, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Russian, yeah. Only barely. I've only been watching SNL maybe in like the last decade, but then like the decade before that, I, I didn't watch. I was just like living La Vida Jano. So yeah, I, I only barely, barely, barely remember that. <laughs> was he the guy who could fit anything in his pants? No, I think that was Keenan. Back when he was doing Keenan and Kel and he had the giant pants <laughs> that could fit anything in them. <laughs> that, that skit was so stupid and so funny. Dude, Keenan and Kel back in the day, that was pure comedy gold. That's why Keenan is even on Saturday Night Live. He already had a career long standing in, uh, in Nickelodeon days. Chris Farley? No, yeah, I'm like, I can almost remember it. I'm gonna have to look it up, Russian. I'm glad that you, I, I remember more cowbell. <laughs> it needs more cowbell. <laughs> that skit is so classic. Like, that skit just never, ever, ever gets old. It's so good.
No, I gotta look up, um, I'm trying to remember. Chris Farley. He had, all of his kits were pure gold. We lost a real one when we lost Chris Farley. Dude, I have Orin Guru and there's nothing good on the route. I feel like we're gonna fail this one. Me and the NPC is about to fail. Oh, you know about Psyshock from using competitive Reuniclus? That's cool, Bunzi. That's cool you knew that. Chris Farley was the best. You know, Russian Rebel, <clears throat> they're doing all these comedy specials now. I don't know if you're like big into comedy. But, you know, I've been watching all the comedy specials because Netflix is buying up all the comedians and giving them specials. So, you know, Chris Rock got a special. Um, like, every up-and-coming comedian had a special. But even, like, the major comedians are, like, coming back and doing specials. So everybody's getting their hour and a half or whatever, you know, time to stand on stage and tell jokes for the camera with a big old audience and doing their, you know, DVD special, whatever. Their comedy movie. Can't even call it that. But I don't know if you've been watching any of them. I've been really disappointed with a lot of them. They're they're just not hitting, you know. They're just not it's not hitting. I just want to hear funny jokes. But um oh you know who else? Did Dave Chappelle did one? I mean everybody's coming back. But yeah. It's kind of a crazy time for comedy right now because everybody's getting their Netflix special and they joke about it too. The comedians, you'll hear them talk about it because it's kind of like a thing right now. But, um, yeah, some of them aren't that funny. What can you do? I think they had to hire younger writers to help them with their jokes. Because comedy has kind of moved in a direction and some of the stuff they're saying just isn't that funny anymore. But I like to see everybody get their specials though, you know? Because comedy was kind of dying there for a while. The only people doing comedy was Late Night and Comedy Central. But now I feel like comedy's back. Comedy's everywhere. That's a good thing. We need comedy. People need to laugh right now. <clears throat> Oh dear. He just wiped grapple off. Hey, what's up, Binkachu? I see you out there with your Spider Man eyes. Shout out to Unlearn Design. I'm trying to learn design. What do you mean, unlearn? <laughs> but yeah, I wish the comedy specials would have been funnier. Like, every single comedy special I've watched recently has been, like, mediocre funny. And I want to, like, laugh, you know? You know who's funny, though, is uh, Jay Leno. He's still so funny. He does his car show or whatever. I don't even watch it that much. I just catch it if YouTube recommends it or whatever. But he is just a funny, funny man. He always was the funniest in late night. Because he'd just tell a straight-up joke. He'd just tell a joke about a cat crossing the road. Like, he would just tell a straight-up, like, constructed joke. And I like that, you know? The the intention is to be funny. He didn't have, like, a message. He's just like, here's a joke. I hope you laugh. You know? That's why, that's why Jay Leno was the best. Am I dating myself again, Chloe? <laughs> yes, I saw Jay Leno when he was on television. <laughs> <laughs> for decades Yeah, I want to see the ice team Bungie send it over might give me some ideas Think it too if I stand for the national anthem my head gets cut off, but I will put my hand over my heart I'm ready in Oh, say can you see? Dude, he wiped grapple locked again. Are you guys seeing this? I did not life. Did you know people don't know the words to the national anthem? I'm like, dude, if you don't know the words to the national anthem, I'm kicking you out of the country. 
I'm talking about Americans who don't know the words. <laughs> I'm gonna deport you. If you're American and you don't know the words. <laughs> Why the dawn set me right? What's so proud? It's a really hard song, by the way. Me, we, him. At the twilight's last gleaming. Whose bright stripes and bright stars. Anyway, it's a very, very difficult song. I'm not gonna. I'll let Inkachu embarrass himself. <laughs> I'll save you my singing voice, which is much to be desired. Okay, no shiny for me. You're Russian and you know it? <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Dude, you know what's messed up is all the American songs are just based off of British songs. They didn't even write their own music. They just wrote new lyrics for the songs that were already the British songs. That song is actually God Save the Queen. God Save the Queen. No, that's a different song. No, what's that one? Is that one? How's that one go? It's a different American song. British National Anthem. God Save the Queen. I think I can play it without copyright. They're all bad. Oh, this is the song. Sweet land of liberty. It's not an American song. It's a British song. I think when it's the king, you have to say king. I don't think you can get a copyright strike for the national anthem because, like, who owns the copyright? And also, you don't get a copyright strike for music. People don't understand the difference between getting a copyright and getting a copyright strike. A strike means they that somebody clicked the button that says, I own this copyright. YouTube, you must take it down. I'm making a legal request that you take this content down and YouTube takes the content down. But getting a copyright just means you share the revenue. Trust me, I ain't making no revenue off of my live streams. The song is a L since they didn't save the queen. <laughs> oh man, shiny red. Right through the heart. Right through the heart of every British person. They did save the queen. She was like 90, bruh. What are you talking about? She was like 190. Seriously though, imagine being like young America and you're like, yo, I don't like those British people. I'm about to fight a war and secede from them and make my own country. But when it's time to make my national anthem, I think I'll just take some of the songs that I already liked from the British people because they were pretty good songs after all. And I'll just write new lyrics over the top of the existing songs. Real freaking original. I thought this song was like a American like landmark song and it's just the music of the people that they fought to be free from. With different lyrics. God save the queen. <laughs> Imagine fighting that long war to get independence and then being like, yeah, but the songs were all right. <laughs> 
Like, seriously. I know, America be stealing. That's why we have no culture of our own in America. It's just a hodgepodge of everybody else's. It's literally, like, that's like the... That's it right there. America! America! Mm -mm. Well, you know, that's just who we are. That's just who we are. I swore the national anthem was also a British song, but I could be mismer I could be misremembering with that one. Yeah, I gotta look that up. I guess rewriting the lyrics to God Save the Queen and making them lyrics about how great America is would kind of be like, you know, poking your finger in the eye of the Brits because you're like, ah, we took your song and we're going to sing it, but it has lyrics about how we're so great and we're free. I guess I could kind of see how that would be like, you know, <clears throat> It actually kind of makes sense when you think about it. What are you talking about, Shiny Red? We do have the best country. Who's better? Come on. Name me one. <laughs> Russian rebel going to be like Russia. <laughs> Dude, who's better? Maybe Denmark. Denmark might be better. I would say Sweden, but they have to border Russia. I wouldn't feel safe if I was in Sweden right now. <laughs> Inkachu is still singing the national anthem slowly. Are you typing it like one letter at a time? Chad is slightly better only because of the name. <laughs> is Chad a real country? No, where is Chad? Where is Chad? I'm afraid to Google this. Oh yeah, it's totally in Africa. What the heck? There's a country called Chad and I like really didn't even know about it. <clears throat> Officially the Republic of Chad. Why do I not know about this? You guys, why do I want to buy a cyber truck? I don't even need a truck. I watched a video the other day and they were shooting bullets through the cyber truck to see which ones would go through and which ones wouldn't. Nine millimeter goes through. Oh no, no, sorry. Nine millimeter doesn't go through. It doesn't even crack it. I have to take this mean show. <clears throat> Nine millimeter doesn't go through. It is bulletproof to nine millimeter, which is pretty freaking impressive when you think about it. Uh, 50 cal goes through. I mean, obviously, if you know what a 50 cal is, like nobody in their right mind thinks a 50 cal is not going to go through that. Uh, they did some other bullets that went through too. I think AR goes through. I just want to, I just want a cyber truck. I don't know why. I just like the idea that if I drove it on the road, like people would be taking photos of me because they, it's like so rare to see one that they would be like, oh my God, there's a cyber truck. Wifey saw a cyber truck on the road the other day and she texted, she was like, I just saw a cyber truck. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously, shiny red, exactly. Especially here in Houston, we have the highest rate of shootings on the road of any major city in the country look it up so i live in like the most dangerous place for road rage shootings so i'm like duh cyber truck give me that bulletproof to nine millimeters is exactly what i need is what people carry around here <clears throat> oh dear this thing is rocking my world rockfish 
think I drank all my water. Super knuckle. There goes lightning rod. <clears throat> yeah, I'm in Houston right now, Russian Rebel. I'm in the Houston area. Which is a very large area, I found out. I live on the north side, near the woodlands. And we like it here. There's a family of eagles that lives like... It's got to be within like a quarter of a mile from my house. It's got to be maybe even like a few thousand feet away from my house because there's a there's a bald eagle that hangs out in our in the pond by our house like all the time and it catches fish sometimes when we're lucky we get to see it <clears throat> and uh, sometimes we see two bald eagles but right now we only see one they mate for life so I think they're alternating on the nest but we're only seeing one right now but we see them <clears throat> almost every day I got binoculars so we can watch them so yeah crime rate here is insane i did not know that before i moved here and the kind of crimes that happen are also like really insane i moved from oakland so i mean crime rate in oakland is insane and the kind of crimes that happen are insane like when you watch the news in oakland you are like wow i live in a crazy dangerous place that's why we moved from oakland we were like this sucks it's dangerous here you know and then sacramento got kind of bad too sacramento is still a pretty safe place to live but it's definitely getting worse. <clears throat> so we we bounced out of Sacramento, but I did not know I was moving to such a dangerous city when I came to Houston. I thought it would just be regular old Texas, you know? I didn't even think about it. So, yeah. Probably would have tried to pick a little bit different city. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to do wide guard. Let's see if these guys take them down for me. Yeah, since shiny, rate li since shiny Red lives in Ohio, the crime rate is low because he literally keeps it low by fighting the crime single-handedly. It's kind of a cause and effect situation. Since Shiny Red is there, the crime rate is very low. If Shiny Red moves, it's going to be like a crime vacuum. Crime will just make its way into Ohio, but wherever he goes will instantly become safer. You don't believe me, but it's true. You're eating elote? I don't even know how you make elote. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Am I saying it right? Rising Voltage should do more damage than that. That's messed up. He avoided the head smash. Can you believe it? <clears throat> My wide guard protected twice. Love when it does that. Bum, bum. All right, I'm going in with the rock tomb. I don't think he's going to wipe us. Here we go. Elote is corn with mayonnaise and cheese. That sounds like the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. Do I think YouTube is dying for content creators? No, I think that con content creators are dying is what's happened. There's so many people that are publishing like, I'm taking a break from YouTube. Have you guys noticed that is like the biggest trend right now. Like big creators who have like millions of subscribers are like, I'm experiencing creator burnout and I cannot make another video. I'm going on vacation and I'm like dude you should go on vacation how come you don't like go on more vacations like all these creators are getting burned out I'm like dude you have no job how are you burned out it's the dumbest thing I ever heard but no I think that YouTube is dying for the people who are like trying to make it be their full-time job and never have to work again but it's not actually dying for them but they're just getting burned out and they're all like canceling their channels which is fine that's on them you know 
but like YouTube as a platform is getting like 10 times better, you know? YouTube, YouTube as a platform is finally making investments in the platform and upgrading the platform. I mean, count how many new features we've seen come to YouTube in the last two years. You can't even name all of them. It's crazy. We got gift memberships. We got vertical live streams just recently. That was crazy. Um, I mean, no, YouTube's, YouTube's a great place to put your content. <clears throat> YouTube was stupid for running those TikTok ads for years. Do you guys remember like four years ago? Maybe even like three to five years ago that like you would watch YouTube and there would be Tic Tac or Tic Tac. I can't talk. TikTok ads. You guys remember that? TikTok ads on uh, right here on YouTube. And like every video you would watch, you would get TikTok ads. I mean, how stupid is YouTube? At that time, they didn't even have vertical videos on YouTube. Like you could upload them. I had some vertical videos and they would they would display correctly on phones. But like YouTube didn't prioritize that experience in any way. Everything was sideways. They just assumed that people will, you know, they'll, they'll flip their phones over, right? How easy? Just flip your phone over. And it's like people don't want to flip their phones over and they don't want to hold their phone with two hands. They just want to hold their phone with one hand and watch whatever they're watching. And like YouTube was so far behind that trend. I mean, years behind that trend. People were uploading vertical content to YouTube and, and like YouTube was just like doing nothing. And then TikTok, meanwhile, you know, was growing and advertising on YouTube and stealing their users. But like, I mean, imagine the people who work at YouTube during that time period, they have got to be like fired by now because they were so dumb to run those TikTok ads and just convert all their users over to TikTok. It's like if, if YouTube was running Twitch ads, you know, like whoever made that decision has got to be so stupid. And now that their platform is absolutely suffering because of it, I'm sure they're kicking themselves and looking at what TikTok has done and being like, that could have been us, that should have been us, and that would have been us if we only wouldn't have played the stupid TikTok ads. Like one simple decision. But you know how much money they probably got paid for those TikTok ads? Oh my God. They probably got paid like hundreds of millions of dollars for all those years of ads that ran, you know? And TikTok got good value on their money because what did they get? YouTube's user base, the most valuable thing that YouTube has. Their users who watch the content and watch the ads. So it's like, dude, y'all are so dumb. I can't believe you ran those ads for so long. You took the money to literally shoot yourself in the foot. But now, YouTube, now that, you know what's good though? It's good that everything that I just said is good for YouTube. Every single one of those things I just said is good for YouTube. You know why? Because it has forced YouTube to innovate. It has forced YouTube to compete. The same thing I'm hoping happens with Pokemon and Power World. I hope that a scrappy young new player comes in and beats them at their own game just for a short time, just long enough to make them scramble and actually do good work and actually respect their audience with good games. And then maybe, just maybe in 2025, we'll get a really good Pokemon game. You know what I mean? And now thanks to this, you know, hot competition from Twitch and TikTok and Snapchat and all that, YouTube is finally actually doing some stuff, actually giving us some new features, actually like putting new stuff on the platform. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine with me if they ban TikTok. I hope they do. I mean, just think about it, right? Mark Zuckerberg is a billionaire. Why is Mark Zuckerberg a billionaire? Because Facebook has everybody's user data, right? Facebook, the platform that isn't even that popular anymore, still has a huge user base and the users that it does have, it knows every single thing about those users. It sells that data to advertisers and it makes money just off of the data. Even if there was no advertisers on Facebook, Facebook would still make a ton of money off of the data 
that it can sell to advertisers, which they can then use to refine their ads and target them more specifically, which increases their conversion rate and actually carries a very high value. All right, I work in marketing, so that's what that's like. I do this stuff for a living, right? So that so just forget about Facebook ads, right? Facebook ads is a totally separate business. Facebook data, all the data that they have on all the people who are on their website, that is a business in and of itself, right? So we know that that's true, right? Now that I've explained it, you know that that's true. So what does TikTok have? The same thing, all of the data, all of the data. Now it's really not that useful data, except for the advertisers. I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh no, the Chinese government is gonna know what dance I'm dancing. That's not what it is. It's the data of where your phone went, your GPS, the things that you bought, your browsing history, uh, how much money you make. They can tell all that stuff about you just by being on your phone. And that data they can sell to advertisers and it's worth a lot of money. And if that phone happens to be on a government employee, well, on their phone, which is illegal now, they banned TikTok on government phones. So if you know anybody who works in government, they had to take TikTok off their phone. The president has a TikTok account, but he can't even have TikTok on his own phone. He has to have a staff member who is not a member of the government have TikTok on their phone and use it on his behalf, which is hilarious. Because <clears throat> he's gonna sign a bill that says he's banning TikTok while he's a member of TikTok and has an ad campaign on there. <laughs> but now I hope they ban it. I hope they ban it. It has, it has a net negative impact on society. So I hope they ban it. Everybody who wants to make their content can come over to YouTube and make their content. And they'll get paid just as much. And there's literally no difference. They're just gonna have to move their content, you know? I'm so sad that you chose the wrong platform and the platform that you chose died. Uh, now you know exactly how I feel when I chose to go all in on Snapchat and then Snapchat died. And all the time that I spent building my audience on Snapchat and then it was all gone because Snapchat made a bad decision and Snapchat died. And the bad decision that Snapchat made was actually Snapchat changed the the order of the way that their like panels work so that you would get like ads and a whole bunch of like news articles and stuff like that. And nobody wanted it. Everybody just wanted the panel that shows what their friends are doing. So that killed the user based on Snapchat and everybody pretty much stopped using it and like overnight and all my all my you know interaction rate and everything went down by like 90% and the same thing happened to FSUATL on the exact same day and he he texted me and he was like dude did your whole Snapchat just die and I was like yeah and he was like dude this update killed the app and I was like dude this is crazy or like we're going to have to quit Snapchat like this is not a viable social media marketing platform anymore and <clears throat> me and FSU basically like just started doing Snapchat for personal, but not like for our brand after that because they killed Snapchat. And it's like, guys, that's the same story with TikTok. Look, you chose a platform that died. There are platforms that died. There's people who went all in on Facebook. Imagine all the business owners who went all in and did Facebook completely. And like, then Facebook died and they're like, oh no, now I have to do Instagram. Why? And it's like, who cares so what so you'll have to move your content to a different platform when 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 that has happened to many people over the course of time you know I don't think it's that big of a deal I know come over to the good side come over to the YouTube side I mean, social media sites die. Twitter's dead. I mean, look at Twitter. Think about all the people who had their their journal, uh, their journalist brand on Twitter, which was like, if you're a journalist and you work for the news or like the New York Times or like even the local news, like your entire brand is on Twitter and pretty much like Facebook or Instagram. But like your official presence where you represent your official brand where you're like a journalist that exists on Twitter, you know? And then Elon bought Twitter and took away all their check marks, literally destroyed their brand overnight. All these journalists are just like 
they're just like Joe Schmo. Like they have no check mark. There's no way for them to signify that they're anybody important. So, I mean, all these TikTok people that are sad that their platform is gonna die. I'm like, you guys, social media platforms have done nothing but die since the invention of social media. MySpace died. The invention of social media. Facebook is essentially, for all intents and purposes, dead right now. Because the kids don't use it. Instagram is still there. But it has been shredded due to TikTok. Right? Snapchat was there and is basically dead at this point. <clears throat> and then you got TikTok, which is, you know... First off, they're not going to ban it, you guys. They're not going to ban it. They're not going to ban it. Not during an election year. <clears throat> I know that they're signaling that they'll do it. Everybody's like, the president's like, oh, I'll sign it. He knows it's never going to get through the Senate. The House is like, oh, we'll pass it. They know it's never going to get through the Senate. The Senate probably won't even take it to the floor. They probably won't even take up the bill. As soon as they all realize how unpopular they're going to be <laughs> and how bad it's going to mess up their chances of getting reelected, <laughs> they are not going to touch that thing with a 10 foot pole. So I wouldn't even put very much stock in TikTok getting banned. I mean, it'll be a miracle if that thing gets banned. The Congress hasn't done anything whatsoever for the last like 12 years. <laughs> They, there's no way they're banning TikTok. They won't do it. And besides, TikTok will divest and they'll they'll sell 49% of the company to some American and it'll be, or 51% or whatever they gotta do, you know? <clears throat> it won't, it's not gonna happen, you guys. I would bet against it if I was a betting man. I guarantee the house never even takes it to the floor. They never debate it and it never even gets a vote. That's my prediction. You heard it here. Okay, let's see. I think I see Nitto King. That's actually really good. And then we got Rock. So I gotta. I think I'll go Claydol and then Nitto King and then whatever that Rock type up there was. <clears throat> Can I check the member chat? No, actually I can't. I don't have my phone. It's downstairs. I need to go get it. Russian Rebel FSU was in the chat just a few nights ago. You weren't here. No, Russian, you missed FSU the other night. He stopped by. It was crazy. I was like, yo, that's him. It's FSU. Yeah, he was literally here in the chat. He showed up. He said hi. He stayed in chat with us for a little bit, but I know my stream's way too boring. <laughs> my stream's way too boring. He won't watch. But he come and he, he came and said hi and hung out for a little bit. That was really cool. Yeah, he was here. That's why I, I'm telling you guys. The only reason it's worth it to watch my stream every single night is the chance that FSU rolls through the chat. <laughs> I know I'd be tired and boring out here some nights, but FSU might show up. It's worth it. <laughs> RJ showed up too. RJ showed up too. Dude, those guys are the coolest. <clears throat> I was lucky to have cool friends like that. I always, I always meet the cool people, you know. Oh yeah, dude, I gotta text FSU and ask him if I can upload the FSU song. Yo, tricky things. Thanks for the gift memberships, yo. Whoever Pig Lee is, they've been gifted a membership so many times. That's hilarious. Yo, I gotta text FSU and ask him if I can upload the old 
the old video because he took all his videos down so there's nowhere to watch it anymore you know <clears throat> i gotta ask him if i can upload it because somebody made him that song and the person who made it might have the copyrights i know right it was such a jam yo russian how did it go how did it go do you remember the words because like i can almost hear the melody but like i can't quite hear it yo tricky things thank you for the gift memberships big thank you yo people got some free memberships i'm surprised there's even five people who aren't member with how few people are on the stream and how many people are already member thanks to tricky things donating them how did it go It was all catchy. FSU, ATL. Hey, what's up, Keyleth? Keyleth is out there. Oh, how did it go? The boy, yep, the boy is the truth. FSU, ATL. How did it go? I'm like on the tip of having the rhythm or the melody. I mean, I'm like right on the tip of it. Oh, it was such a jam. No, I'm gonna go. Let me go get my phone. I'm gonna go text him. I'm gonna go text him. Hang on, guys. I don't remember if I have him in my phone as Zach or FSU. I think I have him in as Zach. Oh, I have him in as both. <laughs> I have him in as both. Okay, I texted him. Let's see if he gets back to me real quick. Let's see. All right, maybe he'll actually get back to me real quick. I know the people who get memberships are always lurkers. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm just lucky to have some lurkers. All right, so thanks to the lurkers. <clears throat> I appreciate you all. Dude, how did that song go? Let's see if he texts me back and see what he says. I gotta stand up a little bit, you guys. I've been sitting all day long. Hey, what's up, Burliest? Dude, who remembers the lyrics to the FSU ATL song? Somebody Google it. Maybe it's out there. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll do muscle band.
Dude, I gotta convince FSU to upload it. It can be his only video. Can you believe this man has no videos on his channel? I'm like, bro, you need to unprivate the videos. That's money in the bank. Yeah, Inkachu, if you want to join, you can join. That'd be cool. Dude, I Dynamaxed and I have no health. Oh, he got me. 3,043 for Latias? Curly is how? There's one in a hundred odds. Oh, wait, are you playing a different game? Not Dynamax Adventures, right? Oh yeah, Bunzi, I'll check it. Ice team. This better not be a virus, Bunzi. He's like, yo, click this link, Jono. I promise it's not a virus. Okay, here's his team, you guys. Alolan, Ninetales, Shelter, Freezer, Rotom, Mammal Swine, uh, Frost Moth, and Deli Bird. Nice team. <clears throat> Dude, I gotta get this guy. Take him out. Finally. Okay, Aurorus is really good. Somebody on my team better take it. These NPCs are worthless. Oh, I almost didn't catch it. Jeez. Sometimes I get so confused while I'm playing because you, all the different games, they do different stuff. Some games you don't take them, some games you take them. <clears throat> Bunzi, nice team. Okay, at least somebody on my team took it. That's good. Oh, watch him switch it out. Don't you dare do it. I need the, um, the bug. No! Oh my god, I so said that he would do it. Oh my god, the NPCs are, like, infuriatingly bad. I can't believe that I just witnessed what I just witnessed. Infuriatingly bad. I mean, like, the worst. Like, why would they actually program them to just make you angry? It's like, dude, developers, be better. I know they can program a decent NPC that makes decent decisions. I cannot believe this. It traded out Auroras, which is like one of the best Pokemon on the route you can get. And all the other Pokemon selected to get the Auroras, and it gave it to that particular NPC. And then that particular NPC opted to trade it, even though the other ones didn't opt to trade it. I think it's because it says it's Ice type. So it shows it as being weak to fire, but it's not weak to fire because the rock cancels it. Do you actually get more health when you Dynamax? Does anybody know? A little bit, yeah. I thought I saw my health bar go up after I Dynamaxed. 
I never thought about it. <clears throat> Dude, he just knocked out a bunch of my team. Yeah, I know. How come they wanted to make a Pokemon that has bad stats? Like, why, though? Three thousand forty three encounters for Latias. Burliest, you're in deep. You can't even quit now. It's like you gotta keep going. <clears throat> At this point the odds are in your favor. Any reset could be the shiny. I mean once you get this far, statistics start to kick in and it's like you can't go forever. Whoa, I misclicked. Wow, that was weird. Wow, no shiny still. Yeah, statistics are a real thing, you guys. And most of the science of space is actually based off of statistics and probability. Because they can't take actual measurements of like stuff that's like so far away, we can't see, but you know, a lot of it can be determined based on, you know, likelihood from other observations. Which is interesting, because it's like, so you don't actually know any of that stuff about deep space? You're pretty much just inferring it. And, and space scientists will willingly say, yep, basically. We have a little bit of data, but not the most. Oh, he, dude, you guys, FSU. Okay, you guys, he texted me back. Zach said, like the FSU ATL rap or the intro? The intro was shell-shocked. What was shell-shocked? That sounds so familiar. Russian, I texted him back and I said the rap. Because I remember the thing that I remember was like there was a rap and it was all about FSU and how dope he was. And it was all true. <laughs> it was all true, baby. <laughs> it might just be me and you, Inkachu. No, he had the rap that was all custom that was just about him. I didn't know that about him playing Shell Shock though. It was from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I didn't know that at all. Yo, I didn't know that. Yeah, Shell Shocked at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shell Shock. How did that, uh, dude, I can't even remember the lyrics of that song now. I can't try to remember one song and then start trying to remember a different song when I barely know either of them because it's been so long. Dude, the options are bad though. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know which way to go, Inkachu. Which way was it? Let me know. Well, let's see. I'll try and head for the ice if I can. 
They should have gave Deli Bird an evolution. I know, right? I'm cool with Iron Bundle and like all of the future Pokemon. Like that was a cool thing that they did and the and the past Pokemon. Like that was cool. Like I'm not against it. It was cool. But yeah, I would have rather seen like more evolutions. You guys, I gotta go help Wifey bring some groceries in. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry guys. Dude, this thing, my like neck pillow thing, whatever you call it, it's finally like sagging so much that every time I move it sags. And it's just making me sad because I'm like, it's really annoying. It should stay like a little bit higher and, uh, and actually like support my neck. But yeah, I need to actually like adjust it every time I sit back. It's really comfy though, but I need to like tie it a little tighter because it's on like an elastic thing and the elastic has got all stretched out. <clears throat> oh, Burley, is you're going on vacation? When? I think I can fix it right now. Which way? I don't. Oh, yeah, we can get to the ice if we go left, I think. I think I fixed it actually. Okay, that's much better. Oh, I'm so glad I fixed it. It was really annoying. <clears throat> you guys, I gotta see if I can get Zach to upload the rap. Or he might even have it, un he might be able to unprivate it. Uh, Inkachu, you take it because I'm good. I've got Ice Punch, so I'm going to be stacked.
Does future sight take three turns? No, it just takes two. You got hot fries again? Yo, I heard they were banning hot fries from some schools because it can harm the children. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not exactly a nutritious lunch, but like, it could be added to a nutritious lunch, right? But yeah, I don't think it, I don't think there's any move that takes three turns. <clears throat> Could be wrong though. Hold on, let's see. Two turns after this attack is moved or this is used. Oh wow, it is three turns. No, wait a second, Inkachu, you're right, because it's my turn right now. Plus two turns after, so that's the next turn, and then on the turn after that it would go but it goes in addition to whatever else you do it doesn't take away that turn you just do two moves on that turn so that's actually pretty cool the kids now don't enjoy spicy things oh no you wrong you wrong they do they do kids today eat spicier food than I've ever seen in the American palate kids be eating wild stuff today they got those chili mangoes Kids be wildin' today with all the spices. It used to be boring, plain Jane, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry candies. Now they got it all. <clears throat> Kids be eating them hot fries. I know it. Yeah, I guess we go for the ice type. And then you take it, Inkachu. That sounds like a good plan. Cause you got that golem thing, is that any good? Oh, someone saved a couple of his videos? D Dude, does it have the wrap? do the <clears throat> the future site oh it has a shell shocked intro Yo, that's crazy that you that somebody actually downloaded his old videos and then put them up. <clears throat> I never actually even thought of that, although I should have thought of that because I mean he had almost a million subs. Oh, uh, if you search for FSC ATL, my video comes up. I wonder if it's like that for everyone or if it's just like that for me. FSC ATL archive. It says banned, but he wasn't banned. He privated his own videos. Yo, a couple of my videos come. <laughs> the thumbnail on my FSU ATL meetup is so bad. I, I made like the stupidest face I could ever make. And plus I covered the fact that I was wearing the FSU ATL shirt with the little bar that I was doing at the bottom of the thumbnail. I, I messed up that thumbnail. I would do it different if I was doing it today. <clears throat> FSU ATL intro. Hang on. Was that? That wasn't the rap.
Knock, knock, you about to get shell shot. Okay, I remember it. I remember it. No, that was his intro. FSU ATL is banned from Pokemon, no. <laughs> Somebody called him cancer. Somebody called him cancer and they used his photo in their thumbnail. And he looks like the pastiest, like, shrimpiest kid that I've ever seen in my life. And he said that he clickbaits. He called him clickbait cancer. <laughs> That's not fair. He's more like a clickbait hero. FSU ATL quits, 49k views. <coughs> Squashing beef with FSU ATL five years ago, 390 views. FSU ATL diss track featuring Mystic7 and Trainer Tips. No. He doesn't play the track, he's just gonna talk. Now it's not even showing me. No, no, it's still showing me. Why FSU ATL isn't coming back? And it's like this six year old, I guess it's like a nine year old kid, like explaining why Pokemon, <laughs> why FSU ATL isn't coming back to Pokemon Go. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God. Dude, trying to find content about FSU ATL. I need to post another video about FSU ATL. <laughs> There's nothing out there. YouTube doesn't even have anything. Okay, I have Ice Punch. Ice Punch is a physical move, so Nasty Plot won't increase it. Otherwise, I would do Nasty Plot. I know, remember Shiny7? He posts to YouTube every once in a while and then I comment it, even though <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't want anyone to see it, but he'll post it. <clears throat> he'll post and then I'll comment it and then he takes the video down. After like a day, he'll just like take it down. It's so weird. I'm like, bro, just post your video. Like, why? I don't, he's like so self conscious or something. But he actually posts some kind of interesting videos. But it looks like stuff he edited for like a video class. Nothing like... You can't find his channel? I know FSU privated everything, but I thought his channel was still up. Russian. Um. I want to know. <clears throat> I want to know the link to the channel. Oh, you mean Shiny7? He took his channel away, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm following, like, some kind of personal account of his or something. I need to unsubscribe from it. But I don't think there's a Shiny7 channel. Thanks, Inkachu. Ten year anniversary for my channel, you guys. <clears throat> I can't believe it's this month. I gotta do something crazy. I gotta make a video. I'll probably do a studio tour. Look you guys. Yeah. Woo! Channel plays, baby. Yeah, boy.
You know? Oh crap, did we get blown out of the den? Bullocks! Bullocks! Yeah, Russian, go ahead, but I don't know if it'll let you. But if it won't let you, then, um... There might... I don't know. Maybe there's a way I can let you do it. I don't know how. Inkitude, do you want to go again? I can't believe we failed. <laughs> and the raids take so much longer. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Parker Animates? I'm doing good. Doing real good. Somebody else, please join. Bunzi, I'm not like the biggest into battling. I don't know. I'm just a shiny hunter. The most I battle is really on the raids. But I'll battle you one day. I'm not saying I won't. I will. Just, I don't know when. Because it takes me forever to do stuff. So. I found Shiny Arceus and Reggie Gigas in BDSP. Reggie Gigas was in 64 encounters. <laughs> Why couldn't it be five more? <laughs> Dude, what's the shiny hunting method for Reggie Gigas like on BDSP? Would you say it's like easier than in Sword and Shield? The Basculin might have Ice Fang. I don't even know if that is Basculin on the right. And then there's electric pin kerchin for the last one, but we can get it from either path. Let's go right and see if that basculin has ice fang, because that could actually be useful. Even though I would like to get a shiny palisand. It's just no point in the temple. Okay. Yeah, I might have to do that. I definitely didn't get Reggie Gigas in BDSP because I rushed that game like crazy rushed it. So I would think that I can go over there and, and shiny hunt it, right? You guys? Because the method in Sword and Shield with the raid tower, like I don't want to do that. Resetting the raid towers is like annoying and... I don't know. Should I box Mike Tyson? Yes, you should. If you're thinking about playing the the NES classic, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, then you better plan on practicing. 
I assume that's what you mean when you say, should I box Mike Tyson? Because that is the only way to box Mike Tyson. Now, Mike Tyson was talking on Late Night about boxing. Um, who's that influencer guy who boxes? Uh, Jake Paul. And Mike Tyson said that he would box Jake Paul because Jake Paul has actually beat some people who he technically shouldn't have beat, which means that Jake Paul must have some decent skills. And he said he would consider boxing him. And I'm like, yo, I would legitimately pay to see that fight. There is no other fight I would ever pay to see. Except maybe... I was going to say Elon versus... Um, Zuckerberg. Was it Elon versus Zuckerberg? Dude, I gotta stop eating these gummies. Yeah, I was trying to think. I was, because I know they talked about it on the news, but I, I was like, was it Elon? And then I'm like, who else could it have been? Nobody else would have made a comment like that. Yeah, somebody was talking about it on the news or something, and I was like, legit, please let them do it. Please. But it has to be a cage match and only one comes out alive. <laughs> Winner takes pink slips on all the companies. I gotta stop eating these gummies. Supposedly, they're good for me with electrolytes and fiber. 4% of my daily intake needs of potassium per serving. Let's go. Do I like your new profile picture? I do. Is it shiny Mewtwo? That's what it looks like from where I'm sitting. It's tiny, so I can barely see it. The only one that I can actually see what it says is Russian Rebel. It's clearly a person in sunglasses with long hair with a bright red background, which is a great contrast background to put. Very well done photo there. And I can actually see what it is, even though it's tiny. I can see Inkachus. Actually, Inkachus is very clear. It's very obviously Spider-Man. See, it's really hard to make a design that is like so, 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 so tiny and can still be clearly seen. I have to do that a lot for web development stuff. Sometimes you have to make really small stuff, like icons. And it's like, well, you know, now because it's so small inherently, it will be difficult to be seen. So you have to kind of design it well. So it's not too busy and you can actually tell what it is. It's a tough, it's a tough design challenge, you know, when you know that the thing you're designing to is going to be so tiny. It's tough. Dude, my moves are doing very bad damage. I think the Spider-Man eyes are fine. They look like the old school Spider-Man eyes, like from the 90s. So it kind of has like an old school vibe to me for some reason. It also looks like the wings of that one Pokemon. The butterfly thing. Not Mothim. Wait, is it Mothim? No. What is that thing? There's definitely a Pokemon that it looks like. No, 
not Frost Moth. I can't think of it. It's in Pokemon Legends Arceus, I think. Dude, am I ever going to get this Shiny Tornadus? I've been thinking about how many nights I have streamed Shiny Tornadus. I mean, I could have done all the Shiny Living decks in Legends Arceus by now. With how much time I've spent just trying to get the Legendaries. I don't know. Let me Google it and get you Kalos Butterfly Pokemon. No, not that one. It has like just a straight up like half. Here, I'm just gonna look up butterfly Pokemon. Maybe it'll come up. No, I'm looking at Mothum. It's not Mothum. It's not Dust Docks. It's not Beautiful Fly. Oh, Masquerade. I was thinking of Masquerade. It looks like Masquerade. Because Masquerade actually looks like eyes, too. You know, it's meant to look like eyes. Yeah, it's totally Masquerade. <clears throat> yeah, Inkachu. Of course I'm having fun shiny hunting. I live for this. Yeah, Masquerade. Look at Masquerade. And then look at the Inkachu's profile picture. It's like the exact same picture. It's the same image. Yeah, Sir Skits Evolution, I believe. Yeah, I think that's right. Deadpool 3 was announced. Ooh, nice. How come there's not a Deadpool game? Or is there? That seems like a franchise that should have had a game like a long time ago. Maybe they did. And Deadpool has had, it's had like cameos in some games, hasn't it? I think it has. Uh, this is a good one, Inkachu. You should take it. I don't know why you didn't take it, fam. I'm gonna take it because then I'll get stabbed. Okay, you guys, FSU just texted me, okay? He said, ha ha ha, shoot, I think I have that file on my old Mac. Bro, he's got the file! He's got the file! Dude, if we get an FSU ATL upload, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Dude, if he uploads, I'm I'm gonna be like, ah! hold on. I gotta make sure I'm subscribed to his channel with notifications. Hold on. How do I find my channel? FSU ATL. 
Subscribed with notifications, baby. There's a fake FS2 ATL. Yo, there's a fake FSU ATL channel. Hold on, there's an FSU ATL stories channel. That's an official FSU ATL channel. 6,000 subscribers. There's a lot of fake FSU ATLs. Guys, there's a re-upload channel. <laughs> Yo, there's a re-upload channel. I don't think I can even watch half of this stuff. I'm afraid. Dude, is this thing destroying us right now? I just laughed because... <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't know if you guys saw this. I just laugh because it has that kid's face <laughs> and it says the most disturbing video on YouTube and then it says like re-uploaded and I'm I just laughed because that was funny like on its own yeah I don't even know it might be a bunch of his old content because I don't even recognize any of it. I was only around during the Pokemon Go days. <laughs> Dude, if you just search all the channels for FSU ATL, there's so many funny ones. This one is called World FSU ATL India and it says Kument, not comment, Kument, C O O M E N T. <laughs> Kument, like, and all is well. <laughs> and it has this picture of this really sexy Indian guy with like cool glasses. <laughs> he looks really dashing. Inkachu, please take the pink urchin. I'm begging you. You have to take it. Inkachu, please take it. <laughs> Dude, all the fake FSU ATL channels are hilarious, though. Okay, we should be able to beat this thing with just the two of us. I think our NPCs are worthless. Hey, what's up, Fue Coco? I'm just chilling, reliving the good old days of uh, thinking about FSU ATL's old videos and the rap that he used to have on the intro on his videos. And I was texting FSU ATL about that just now. And I was like, bro, you gotta upload that video. Dude, I wanna get that notification so bad. I want to get that notification so bad right now. Just let me get that FSU notification that he dropped a new video. Oh man, people will be losing it. People, I will be first. You know I will be first on that video. I will be first so fast. No, I'd probably be like some some 16 year old who used to be a nine year old back when he used to watch FSU, but now he's older. <laughs> and he'd still beat me. He'd still beat me to first. Cause the first thirst is real. No, I would be I would be the legit first if Russian Rebel didn't beat me. Okay, I got this fool confused. Maybe it'll help.
Wow, that was a hard hit. Nice, Inkachu. That did a lot of his damage. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Thunderbolt and we're gonna be good to go. Thunderbolt is like the most reliable electric move. I love it. It does like decent damage and it hits very consistently. Dude, what was with that zoom in on Seismitoad? What? Yeah, he does have that that ultra fire move dude if we got an fsu atl upload it would be so exciting you didn't want this ear chin it's good though you're doing all the damage you're carrying the team Why did you do Venom Drench? You don't even know what that move does. Ingatru, why did you do Venom Drench? You literally don't even know what it does. <laughs> Ingatru's always messing with me when he's in my raids. It failed, Ingatru. Doesn't it only work if they're poisoned? Maybe I don't know what it does, actually. It failed. I don't know if you saw Inkachu, but it failed. It didn't do it. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know what Venom Drench actually does. Lowers the attack, special attack. By one stage each if the target is poisoned or badly poisoned. It only works if it's poisoned. <laughs> you. you don't even read the moves. <laughs> Wait, was it poisoned? It the move failed though. I got it got poisoned there at the end, but I don't think it was when you used the move. That's still funny though. You tried, Inkachu. You tried. That's what counts. I give you an A for effort. I give you an A for being the only one who will actually play Rage with me. Thank you. Alright, Inkachu did read it. In his defense, he did read it. Sir Jonatron! Member for 18 months. All right, you guys, that's my last raid. I'm going to get out of here. I'm doing a little tiny bit shorter streams than I was doing because of my new schedule. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts, but I'm going to go hang out with Wifey and watch some late night. Okay. Really, no shiny? All these Pokemon, I don't know what they look like, so I always... Pincurchin always trips me up, because it's got, like, the tiniest change. <clears throat> I know, right, when you got here, too, Sir Jonatron. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta manage my time, so I have less of it now. All right, thanks, everybody. I will catch you on the next one. Peace, you guys! I'm gonna keep on seeing if, if FSU will release the video. Don't be surprised if you see an FSU video go uploaded tonight because I just might get him inspired to do it. I don't know if he really will, but let's just cross our fingers and, and pray to the Lord Arceus that he, that he post that video because it'd be hilarious. All right, good night, you guys. Peace.